hello everyone so in the last session we have seen some important jenkins parameters okay how to uh, use them for creating the jenkins parameter job so in that we have seen the difference between choice parameters and extended uh, choice parameters okay so in choice parameter you can select only one value at a time but in case of extended choice parameter you can select multiple okay so in that how we have configured is uh, for the extended choice parameters uh, we have selected this basic parameter types as multi select okay and in that values how we selected is we have manually entered all the values in this text box okay so in this session we are going to see how we can use this option property file to get these values okay so there is a big advantage while using this property file for getting this value that we will see but first let's see how we can use this property file okay so as a part of this uh, part 2 in session 8 we will see how to use the properties file for extended choice parameters in jenkins parameter job so these are the steps you need to follow and then uh, we will see why we should use this property file for getting the choices okay values for extended choice parameters okay what are the different advantages of this approach so let us create a new job first extended choice parameter with properties file let's say new one project click on ok so first we need to select this checkbox this project is parameterized so from the drop down select extended choice parameter so i will give test cases okay so i have multiple uh, test cases in my automation framework so i need uh, to give the choice to the user which test case he want to run okay according to his requirement So that list should be multi selectable. So I will give here 10 delimiter should be comma. So those values should be separated by the comma. So while selecting the values for this uh, parameter, okay, we have different options. So value we have already seen. So you need to select this property file now. Okay. So here you need to give the location of your property file where exactly it is uh, available in your system. So first let's create a property file and we will add those values in that property file. So just open any editor. So I will be using the Visual Studio code for creating the property file. So go to file, new text file and save this file as a property file. So just give some name to your file. Let's say test cases and save as type as properties file. Click on save. So here in the properties file, we need to save the data in key and value pair, right? So let's say test cases is my key and value I will add. Let's say none test one. So in my automation framework, there can be hundreds of test cases, right? So I will add all those test cases name in this property file. So this will be available as a choice for the user while building the Jenkins job. Okay, so let me add the values. So I have added these 10 values, okay, none is first and I have added 9 test cases, okay, so just save this file. So now we need to provide the location of this file. So this is the location of our file. So we need to copy the path of this file and add in our Jenkins configuration, okay. So here you need to add the path of the file. Okay, so remove the double quotes. So now it is saying this property file exists, but you have to provide the property key as well. Okay, so we have uh, provided the key as test cases. So you need to give the same name here in the property key. That means from this properties file test cases dot properties, I want to read the values for this test cases key. Okay, so what are the different values for this test cases key that user has defined in the properties file? all those values will be fetched okay and that will be displayed on the ui okay so very simple so you need to just create a properties file okay put it in your system somewhere and whatever location of that file just provide in this text box okay and in the property key you just provide the name of your key in the properties file that uh, for which you need to read the values okay so just click on apply and save so now if you click on build with parameters you can you can see that all the values from that properties file are fetched here okay so we have not entered any value manually 
okay while configuring this jenkins job we have added the values in our properties file and all those values are pulled automatically in our jenkins jobs while building the job with parameters so now it is very useful so somewhere let's say you need to add some uh, more test cases in that property file so you can easily add it you don't need to change anything in the configuration you just need to add it here so let's say test 10 say test 11 okay so let's say i have added two more test cases i will save this file and just refresh the page you will find those values are shown here test 10 and test 11 that means you don't require to change anything from this uh, jenkins job configuration okay once you have set up the properties file its location and the property key then you just need to change the property uh, file only okay whatever values you need to add you can add it in the file itself okay no need to change anything in the jenkins job so that will save a lot of your time so it is a very useful thing in our automation framework okay so always go for property file while uh, providing the choice values uh, when uh, you are using the extended choice parameters okay so instead of value always use the property file so now let's see why we should use the property file for getting the choices for the extended choice parameters okay what are the main advantages so to understand its importance let me show you an example so let's go to this folder extended choice parameters so here you can see i have already created a jenkins job with parameters okay so for this qa1 job i have provided the values for this test case parameters like this okay from test 1 to test 9 so if you go to the configure you can see i have used the extended choice parameters only but this time i have provided the values by using the value option okay not the property file okay so it looks easy both the jobs are uh, very much similar right only in this job we have read the values from the properties file and in that we have provided the values manually in the configuration uh, option itself okay so what is the main advantage of this uh, using properties file for reading the multiple values so let's say uh, we have multiple qas in our team so let's say i have uh, 10 qa in my team and for each qa i have created the same, uh, separate jenkins jobs okay so i have provided the separate jenkins job separate machine okay separate ip okay so that they can run as per their requirement on the different machines okay so let's say in the folder i will create multiple jenkins jobs okay so let me create the copy of this qa1 jobs so here uh, i have created the 10 jobs okay for 10 qas so all the jobs will have same options while building the project okay so all these nine test cases will be available for each jenkins job okay so all those values we have added uh, manually in our configuration option okay without properties file we have added it manually okay so what is the use of property file or what are the main advantages so let's say with this approach if i want to add uh, 10 more test cases okay so in our automation frameworks we uh, every day we add the automation test cases okay when when there is some new feature or new issues come into the application we always automate that feature okay so automation test cases are going to increase day by day okay so you need to keep adding those test cases uh, and we need to configure the jobs again and again okay so let's say with this approach if i want to add few more test cases i need to go to each job and i will have to add the options like this let's say test 10 comma test 11 okay so let's take i need to add the two test cases only for now for each jenkins job so i will add those uh, options here okay, i will click on apply and save okay so now qa3 job is updated with more test cases similarly i will have to go to each and every jenkins jobs to add those test cases for every qa member right so this process is going to take a lot of your time okay so you are just wasting your time just configuring this jenkins job for multiple test cases and this is not for one day again for next day or next week again you need to add the more test cases again you need to follow the same approach go to each and every jenkins jobs and add the values there okay manually so it is very time consuming process okay so instead of this approach if you use the property file approach for reading the values then it is going to save a lot of your time so you just need to add uh, the configuration only once and again you just need to update the property file only okay for example i will go to the first job in the configure option we will configure our properties file okay 
so instead of operating the values okay this manually i will select this option now property file and here i will provide the path of our property file okay that's it and click on apply and save so whatever values available in that properties file will be available for this job okay so you just need to create the copy of this job again or otherwise you can uh, configure the other job as well manually but that activity is only one time okay only one time you need to configure this extended choice parameters uh, read the values from the properties file path of your property file and each and every jenkins job provide the property key value okay key name here click on apply and save okay so for now i will just show you qa1 and qa2 jobs okay so for qa1 and qa2 we have configured to read the values from the properties file so for both the jobs you will see all these options are available for qa2 and the qa1 okay so consider you have added all these things in all the 10 qa jobs okay so in the next week let's say you have to add some more test cases okay so you added the automation for more test cases and you are adding some more uh, test cases in the properties file okay so just add those values here test 13 okay it's quite easy you just need to update the values in only one place okay and just save those options okay save the file and automatically all those options will should reflect in the jenkins jobs okay so just refresh this also okay so you can imagine how much time it has saved when uh, we are uh, using the extended choice parameters and uh, reading the values from the properties file so you don't need to add anything or update the jenkins job manually again and again okay so just add the different values if you want to add some values or if you want to uh, remove some test cases that also you can do so just update your uh, properties file okay save that file and all those changes will be reflected in the jenkins jobs automatically test 5 and test 6 are gone so i hope uh, this example will uh, help you to clear your uh, concept about the extended choice parameters by using the properties file okay what are the main advantages of this approach okay so always use the property file if you are using the uh, extended choice parameters in your automation framework for providing the multiple choices for the users okay depending upon your requirement you can have multiple values so instead of providing those values manually just create a property file uh, uh, create a key okay you can uh, add the multiple uh, keys also in the same properties file and depending upon the key the jenkins will uh, read the values for that particular key okay so in this property key uh, property file we have just mentioned about the one key so you can add some more keys here okay so let's say i have some module uh, names also okay or features names also let's say module 1 comma module 2 okay like this so if i want to run some automation on for particular module i can configure jenkins job uh, for that also okay so you just need to mention the key from that uh, properties file to read in the jenkins uh, configuration option okay so let's say in the qa3 job i am i am going to read the uh, values for modules okay so you just need to change the property key here okay, so i will add the key as modules and the value of our property file path so just copy from here so same property file but the value is different okay property key is different so if we click on apply and save you can see the values for test cases now module 1 and module 2 okay so depending upon the modules also you can run your automation on the different browsers and different servers okay so all these options are uh, added as a choice parameter and this is our extended choice parameter so that's all for this session guys uh, thanks all of you for watching the video